cabinet approval was given to consider nuclear energy as an alternative to meet Sri Lanka's future energy needs. In accordance with that decision, a steering committee and nine action committees have been appointed to study matters related to electricity generation using nuclear energy. The proposal put forward by Russia for a nuclear power plant in Sri Lanka comes in such a backdrop. It is yet to be decided if this nuclear power plant will be constructed on land or if it would be a barge mount power plant. According to a proposal put forward by Russia, a team of Russian experts will operate the power plant and would also train Sri Lankans within three years in operating the nuclear power plant. Many other countries have also submitted proposals in addition to Russia. However, Russia has presented a more comprehensive, integrated plan. Russia is also building two power plants in Bangladesh. Most of the time, Russia and India will be working together on this. We prefer the Russian proposal be based on the geopolitical situation. If we can enter into an agreement with Russia, we will have political protection. If we go with another country, many others would not like it. Rosatom, also known as Rosatom State Nuclear Energy, has put forward the proposal and it is a Russian state corporation. News first inquired about the capacity that this proposed nuclear power plant would generate. We are looking at three small power plants that would each generate 100 megawatts. There are two types of power plants. One is offshore and the other is on land. It would take a very long time to complete a land-based power plant. It takes at least five to six years to complete. If we have an urgent need, we can approach an offshore power plant or a barge-mounted power plant. Many other countries also say that Russia had developed its technology. If we opt to have three small offshore power plants, we can generate electricity for the country within two years. According to the Russian proposal, if we agree with the second option, it would take two and a half years for them to build it and bring it here. Does Sri Lanka have the funds to invest in a nuclear power plant? We studied the agreement between Russia and Bangladesh. They have offered a 15-year grace period. Their payment plans involve a very small interest. When will the Memorandum of Understanding be signed? This will be presented to the Ministry by next week. If the approval is given, it will be sent to the Attorney General's Department. Thereafter, the observations will be taken to the Foreign Ministry. The matter will be handled by the Foreign Ministry and then be presented to the Cabinet. If the Cabinet gives them the green light, the MOU can be signed. Rosatom is a Russian state corporation and the head of this institution will sign the MOU with someone like the president.